Good morning fellow investors. This week in the market has been quite interesting, so let's break down what you need to know in simpler terms. The stock market is in a phase where it loves soft data. What does that mean? Essentially, investors and financial markets are looking for signs that the Federal Reserve is done raising interest rates. With inflation under control, the stock market had a great week, driven by two key factors. One, softer economic data, especially in the labor market, we've seen data that suggests economic conditions may not be as robust as we thought. And two, another Fed pause, the Federal Reserve decided not to raise interest rates in their recent meeting. This is the third time this year they've chosen not to hike rates. The result? The S&P 500 gained a whopping 5.9% this week, with other parts of the market showing even more significant gains. This week aligned perfectly with what I discussed last weekend. When you review trade setup type 15 from the black box, it provides a clear picture of the situation. This week also illustrates why being tactical with your investments is vital. Being tactical means adapting to market trends to capture the best returns, and it's essential to your portfolio's success. The Federal Reserve's decision to keep interest rates unchanged confirms what I've been saying. I predicted this pause even before the September meeting, and it's now clear that the Fed is taking a break from raising rates. They've hiked a total of 1% so far, and it looks like they'll keep rates steady for the next few months. Looking ahead to the December meeting, the market is currently assigning a 95.2% probability that the Fed will pause again. Because inflation is in check, and economic data especially in the labor market is softer. Disinflation is firmly in place, meaning we're moving away from high inflation. Disinflation remains a persistent trend, as I've emphasized throughout the year to understand its impact. Now I've previously delved into inflation data extensively, but let's combine the latest labor market data to gauge its future implications. The quits rate, which indicates workers' willingness to change jobs, has been stabilizing with a downward trend. This rate has a strong correlation with year-over-year inflation. For instance, the quits rate versus headline CPI and core PCE shows that it's currently at 2.3%, a noticeable decrease from its peak at 3% in April 2022. This suggests that year-over-year inflation is likely to continue decelerating and trend lower in the upcoming months. Last week's non-farm payrolls report showed that job creation in October fell short of expectations and was lower than the previous month. However, it's crucial to recognize that the economy still added 150,000 new jobs during the month. This indicates a degree of softness rather than outright weakness. The unemployment rate inched up from 3.8% to 3.9%, but it's essential to note that this figure remains historically low. The uptick is from already low levels, aligning with the Federal Reserve's dual mandate objectives. While concerns about rising unemployment are valid, it's premature to sound the alarm. Lastly, Nominal wage growth decelerated on a year-over-year basis, further underlining the disinflationary trends we discussed earlier. In summary, the labor market remains dynamic and resilient, though it's undoubtedly displaying signs of softness. This doesn't imply deterioration or weakness but rather a notable softening, which has distinct implications in the broader macroeconomic context. In a nutshell, while some have been predicting economic doom, it's crucial to understand that trends can take time to impact the broader economy. The labor market remains dynamic, and we're likely to see this trend continue for a bit longer. And that's it for this week's under 5 minutes straight talk market review. For more in-depth discussions on markets and real estate, visit our website at prizecapital.com. And don't forget to mark your calendars for November 9th this Thursday, for our monthly real estate investor meetup. It's open to the public, and we'll be gathering at our Surfside Beach office at 6pm. For event details, check our events page on our website or find us on Facebook. We're the hosts so come join us, have a drink and connect with investors, lenders, agents, wholesalers and more. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at prizecapital.com. Have a fantastic day and we're looking forward to seeing you soon.